Hey, hey, it's Marley Crew. Today we're going to see how to build an email elf uh, reporting and management system all within our table. So you can track uh, all the opens, all the send, all the replies that you get from all the different emails across all your different campaigns. So let's get started. First off, by showcasing what is the setup over here. Within our table, we, def we divided everything into different tabs. So what we did over here is we created a campaign tab where we collect all the different campaigns that we want to monitor. So here I added three example campaigns alongside the campaign ID. Keep in mind the campaign ID is one of the most important metrics that we need to use. So that is uh, uh, really important over here. Then we have uh, the email performance uh, um, tab. So in the email performance tab, we will have each of the different emails alongside different information from each of the different emails, such as the campaign ID uh, to which the email is associated to, uh, the email ID, uh, as well as other information such as the send count, the open count, the reply count, and so on. So first off, what I wanna showcase is I wanna um, show you how the actual system works. So what we do over here is we get all the different campaigns that we have available. So within our table, we get all the different campaigns. Ideally here, you can also set this up to uh, only allow uh, campaigns which are active since uh, um, this uh, should be refreshed ideally every day. So that is something that you can have. Then what we use over here is we use uh, a feature from Smart Lead, which is uh, uh, the um, API for getting the email elf. Uh, at the moment, this is not currently available. So we use an alternative API over here and uh, you can check uh, the API over here. But keep in mind what you can also use instead of that is another API, which is, um, which is the following. Uh, fetch campaign mailbox statistics. So once this is uh, uh, once this is available, this is the the one that you can use for that. So what we do then is we iterate over the emails, uh, and then we have two different possibilities. Either we add the new emails to the system, or that, or we get the emails if they are already present, and we update the email stats, uh, as well as create the daily reporting view which uh, I will uh, show you uh, in a moment. First off, what I want to do right now is I want to run through the system so you can see what uh, is the actual outcome of the system and what you actually get from that. Okay, so the system finished here. So we got uh, 60 different emails associated with the different uh, uh, bases. So this is an example of uh, what we actually get over here. We get the email uh, with an associated campaign ID and email ID. Keep in mind that the emails that are present over here could be found um, double since uh, um, since there are more emails which are added to uh, more uh, since the same email can be added to multiple campaigns. So here, for example, uh, but uh, the the voice that we have here is unique since we have the email associated with a specific campaign ID. So this is actually unique to to the base. The information that we have over here uh, related to each email and related to each campaign is the following. So we can uh, we we can get the send count, the open count, the reply count, and the bounce count. All of that allows us to perform different calculation related to the email, both re uh, sorry both related to the email itself as well as uh, related to the actual domain of the email. So in this example. Here we have a send count, open count, and reply count, but here we also have metrics such as the reply rate and the bounce rate. So all these kind of metrics can be used for us to monitor what is the performance of an email. And if we get a specific bounce rate over a certain amount, we can stop that email and uh, we can perform a different kind of calculation if we wanted to. One additional thing which uh, which you can see from the system is the following. So here, for example, we can group everything by uh, by domain if we wanted to. So in this way, we can actually see what are the results of a system. So uh, sorry, what are the results related to a specific domain? So if, for example, in your infrastructure, you add two or three emails, you can you can have a look at that and you can see what is the performance. Uh, across the old domain. So here, for example, 
as you can see here from this AI optimizer uh, domain, we have 135 cent count and a 2% bounce count. So if we look at uh, the bounce rate here, we see that we have a, a 4 um, sum bounce here. Instead of the, the sum, you can use an average and uh, you can perform uh, different calculations on that. So uh, this is other, uh, another way of uh, uh, getting the information. Now, another additional thing that you can add to the system is the ability to monitor data uh, of the emails on each campaign on a daily basis. Um, this is uh, crucial if you want to monitor an email specifically and uh, if you want to see what are the results that you get from that specific email. So, for example, if we want to say uh, let's turn off daily monitoring for three emails over here. What we can do is we can check uh, um, we can check uh, um, how many emails were sent uh, in a specific date and uh, um, how many emails are sent on a historical level each day. So in this way, we are uh, we have a much more granular understanding of what is the performance of each email and uh, all these kind of things. Now I will change this metric only because. Uh, uh, in this way, you can actually see uh, some relevant data from uh, from the emails, and then I will run the automation again, so you can see how this actually works. So in the in the automation here, as you can see, what we do is if the email ID is present, we search for the email, and then we either update the email stats as, uh, or create a daily reporting view. This uh, daily reporting view can be enabled by clicking the uh, the check that we added over here. And in this way, what we have uh, in this other tab, which I haven't shown you before, is the data of each email on a daily basis. So here, for example, we can see data such as uh, what is the send count of today? What is the send count? Uh, yeah, what is the send count of today per email? Uh, and this is done by calculating the difference between uh, the send count that is already present uh, in the email uh, between the send count that is present within the actual system itself. So, um, yeah, so that is how this actual system works. Another interesting thing that you can add on top of that is adding a automation to, for example, um, be uh, be monitor or be advised uh, be notified for a specific uh, uh, change so here for example we added something like if the uh, if the reply rate is uh, greater than 5% and here probably i would say if the bounce rate is greater than 5% then we run a script uh, we run a script to modify that specific email so the script uh, is something along the following here we are calling make.com so this is uh, the an actual example of a script that we could use so in this instance what we do is if uh, we if we uh, we update an email and we see that that email has a bounce rate greater than 5%, we can uh, go here, uh, trigger this actual workflow, and then based on this workflow, we can either do all sort of inform all sort of operation for the email. So a couple of things could be reducing the number of emails sent each day, um, re-enable uh, warm-up, um, stop the email, remove the email from that campaign, and a lot of different uh, operations and automations on that. So yeah, this uh, has been a showcase of this actual system. If you are looking to have a, a daily granular view or also a like much more general view of the performance of each email, this is what you can use, uh, and that uh, this is uh, something really effective that you can use. Hope you get some value out of that. Let me know if you're interested in understanding a little bit more about the system and uh, have a nice day. Bye.